Hello everyone, it's Barbara and welcome to Pick a Stack Wednesday. We're starting off with a little golden singing bell today. Let's charge up all these beautiful crystals. And for those of you who were wondering, this fabulous crystal right here, this is called an Alestial Smoky Quartz. It is on loan from a friend of mine who has a very extensive collection of large crystals. And she likes to share, and I am so grateful. All right, so now that the crystals are all charged up, let's see what we got here. Let me just move some stuff around. There we go. You know, it always looks so nice here. What you don't see behind the scenes is, is kind of a mess. So it, it, it kind of makes me laugh, you know, just like everything else in, in life, what you see out front is, is beautiful and organized. And then there's a mess in the background. So if you're new to Pick a Stack Wednesday, your mission is to think of an idea, issue, or question and it can be about yourself, it can be about someone else, it can be about a relationship, an event, your career, your job, anything you like. It can even be about the whole world. And then pick a stack. Okay, this is stack number one, stack number two, stack number three. And each stack tells a story. Each stack contains two tarot cards, one oracle card, and a crystal. And hopefully it resonates with you. You might want to listen to all three stacks because you never know. All three of them might resonate with you or one that you didn't pick might resonate with you. All right. So let's get started. If you chose stack number one, the stone for you is called Rainforest Rhyolite. And Rainforest Rhyolite represents change, variety, and progress. It sparks creativity in individuals who are ready to move forward and make things happen in their life. It allows us to reach out and beyond our capabilities of what we think we can achieve by helping us to break through the mental barriers and to reach a profound and joyous state of knowing. Rainforest Rhyolite. And it's a very beautiful stone in, in like creams and browns and maybe even a little orange and greens. Beautiful stone. All right, so your first card is from the Spirit Song Tarot deck, and it's the Nine of Acorns. This is also known in other decks as the Nine of Fire. And look at that cat's face. Talk about focus. This card is all about focus and perseverance and, and power and you know, the cards, the suit cards go from ace to 10 and this is a nine. So it's, it's like, you're almost there and you just have to persevere through everything that you're going through. Um, cause you've got this, which is all about change as well. And, um, then you've got this card that says, you're almost there. You're almost there. Just hang in there and stay focused. Cause remember this cat's face, this the light is behind this cat, okay? And this is not kitty cat. This is not your kitty cat in the house. This is that I live outdoors, I feed myself, I take care of myself. It's not that I don't need anybody, it's just that I can take care of myself and I am on my path and I got this. I am just about there, okay? Really good combination, these two cards. I mean, I'm sorry, the card and the crystal. Very powerful. Your second card is from the Druid Craft Tarot. And this card makes total sense with the stone and the um, nine of acorns because this is the rebirth card. And I'm just going to cover up that little naked child. Um, I don't want to get in trouble. Um, the Druid Craft Tarot deck is great. I love the artwork, but there are a few cards where somebody's naked. So... I have to put a well-placed uh, hand in front of the picture. <laughs> I don't want to offend anybody or get in trouble. 
So this is the card of rebirth. This child is in this doorway. Now the doorway is important because a doorway is a portal. It is a change from one location to another. It is, it is like a graduation. It is a leveling up. Um, you've got the herald here, do do do, announcing the arrival of this new being. The the hare or the rabbit here is also all about rebirth, and um, the the rabbit as a spirit animal is all about not having any fear. Um, so the rebirth is important in that. In a, in, in a birth, a rebirth, there's things that are new. The rabbit saying, don't be afraid of all the new things that are coming in because they're going to be amazing. And this is very, um, I got to move my thumb carefully. Um, there's all these spirals here. It's all about the cycles of life. The stones, very grounding, very earthy. This is a very earthy card. It's also card number 20 in the major arcana. The major arcana says this is a message from the universe. And card number 20 is the second to the last card of the major arcana because there are 22 cards, but it's 0 to 21. So this card says you're almost there. This card says you're almost there. This, this new beginning is right around the corner, literally right around the corner. Okay? So... um. Just know that all you got to do is hang in there and you're powerful and you've got this and you're not going to have any fear. Wow. If you pick stack number one, this is amazing. All right. Your, your last card is from the secret spirit reading card deck and it's card number 33 and it says soul fragments balance will be restored. So let's see what the book says about card number 33. First of all, I love that it's card number 33. 33 is a master number, and it talks about ascended masters being with you. In other words, you are divinely guided, guarded, and protected. The life of our soul is infinite, and while aspects of the self are never truly lost, they can separate through times of trauma, grief, separation, loss, or refusing to deal with an issue. The psyche's self-preservation causes this illusionary disconnection as it chooses to distance itself from the situation in question. These fragments are merely in places our consciousness has chosen to forget to spare the emotional turmoil from an intense emotional experience. Recall these fragments with love, healing, and understanding. It allows your soul to continue moving forward without the individual feeling stuck in the past or unable to get over an, an issue or event. So right now, your soul needs to reclaim a part of its missing memory. Now, what's, what's really interesting about this, I got to just stop. This is an elestial smoky quartz, and it's... The intention of this stone is to recall lost parts of ourselves. So the fact that you're getting this card in stack number one is so incredibly amazing um, because I listen to my guides for everything from the cards to the, the stones to the backgrounds. And today, this my guide said this had to be in the background. So you can use this if you connect with this stone, you, you stare at it, meditate with it, it can help you reclaim lost parts of yourself. Okay? So back to this card. Right now, your soul needs to reclaim a part of its missing memory. Past trauma that is being held within you is crying out to be healed. Through recollection, you will be able to see the truth and the situation for what it is. Build your resilience and remain objective. And know that you need to um, address any fear-based experiences. And that means in your whole life. So your affirmation for this card is, I am the master of my own mind. 
I am ready to move on. And not only should you be ready to move on, but you need to know that you've got so much power and perseverance here and you've got this rebirth coming. Whoops. You've got this rebirth coming and there is nothing to be afraid of because it's right around the corner. It's powerful and it is positive. So if you chose stack number one, wow is all I can say. That is an amazing reading. Sweet. If you chose stack number two, stack number two has rainbow titanium bismuth as your stone. It can relieve feelings of emotional and spiritual isolation, facilitating the meditative state of oneness, connectedness, and serenity. It is useful when experiencing change, providing for calmness, vitality, and orderliness. It can facilitate the enjoyment of travel and stimulate group and relationship cohesiveness. It's good for the crown, root, soul star, stellar gateway, and Gaia gateway chakras. Those are going to be all the upper chakras. Um, it can also help your body adjust to higher vibrational frequencies, which makes sense because it's for those higher chakras. And it's really cool looking too. It looks like little buildings. All right. Your first card is from the Spirit Song Tarot deck. And it is, dun, 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 the Three of Shells. The Three of Shells is in other decks known as the Three of Water. And in this deck, it's represented by three beautiful, amazing dolphins and three shells. Now, dolphins are all, all about joy and playfulness. Um, it even says bliss on this card. You look at dolphins, how can you not smile when you see a dolphin? They're so beautiful. They're just smooth, and they look like they're smiling. Um, the three of water, water is all about emotions. So the fact that this card is represented by dolphins, which is joy, and it has to do with emotions, there's something going on in your life, or it's right around the corner, that is joyful, blissful, or there's something that you need to find joy and bliss in. Maybe you're not finding joy in something. Take a look at your life and figure out, what am, what am I joyful about? What brings me joy? Or what is not bringing me joy? If your job is not bringing you joy, if it's just a job, then maybe it's time to look for something different because your job should be your joy. The days of having that, I'm sorry, that crappy job, that sucky job, whatever you want to call it, those days are over. If you really, really enjoy being outside and landscaping, then that's where you should be. You should have a job that you wake up in the morning or at night, whenever your shift is, and you say, wow, I can't wait to get there. Because you know what I get to do? I get to do blah, blah, blah today. Um, that's how your job should be. Okay? So if it's not, figure something out. And now I use job as a, uh, an example. This can be relationship as well. Your relationship should bring you joy. Now, I know you're not going to have joy every single minute of every single day, but overall, it should bring you joy. Your relationship overall should bring you joy. I can't wait to go home and be with my family. I can't wait to go out on this date. If you're dreading it, it's not the right thing. It should be easy, graceful, and blissful. Your second card is from the Druid Craft Tarot. And interestingly, this is the death card. Now, the death card is not a scary card. It is not about somebody is going to die. However, it is about change. It is about change in a person. It could be the death of an ego. Um, a lot of people this year are going through the death of an ego. They don't even know that that's what it is, but it's that 
it's that big change in our lives <clears throat> where material things don't own us anymore. Um, yes, I like having things, but guess what? If I don't have things, my life still goes on and I can still find joy in myself. Um, maybe it means the change of a relationship, change of a job, change of a career, change of a living space, change of something. But there's something that you are either going through or you need to go through. And especially with this card, like I was talking about, if you're not finding joy in whatever it is you're doing, then you need to make a change. Here's the death card saying there's a change coming or you're going through it. Now, this, this figure representing death here is wearing this green cloak, but has this red fabric here. Red is that color of passion, of getting things done. It means whatever the change is, let's get going. So in other words, let's not procrastinate. Let's get this change going. If you don't know what the change is, or I mean, if you don't know what the goal of the change is, you can meditate or you can ask somebody, ask for help. It's totally cool to ask for help. Hey, friend. Hey, psychic. Hey, healer. Um, I need to make a change in my this aspect of my life. I just need like a hint as to what direction to go to. Okay, ask for help. It's all good. Because you know what? You've got joy and bliss coming. Once you make a change in your path, you've got joy and bliss coming. And doesn't that sound amazing? Because it sounds amazing to me. Now, um, it's interesting too because outside the window here, there's so much in this card I'm not even going to go into, but um, there's water out here, way, way out there. And here's water. Here's the dolphins. It's like I see this little bit of water out there, but if I got closer, I'd see these dolphins. So that joy and bliss is out there. We just got to take that first step, make that change. All right, your oracle card is card number 24, and it's called Light Codes. Travel awaits you. And look at that third eye. That third eye is wide open. So travel awaits you. Dolphins travel. We, I was just talking about this way, way out here. We'd have to travel to get there. So let's see what the book says about card number 24, Travel Awaits You. Let me hold that up for you. So light codes are a language written in creation. Energy patterns, colors, sacred geometries, sound waves, light patterns, and universal frequencies are all forms of light codes. Working with light codes initiates deep transformation and transmutation, breaking old belief patterns, paradigms. And light language is a yeah, universal form of communication. While human beings use speech, sign language, and body language, other forms of communication are visible across different species. Animals and plants use their own language through sound and sense. Light codes are the human being's cosmic fingerprints. Light coding helps to bring change into the world. When individuals are aligned with their personal light codes, they can connect to higher realms and galactic origins and help to awaken others. Lighting up others enables them to fulfill their own life mission and personal path. Right now, you are on a mission. Humanitarian efforts, becoming earth conscious, Choosing how to, you contribute to humanity and the planet is a focus right now. A change in dietary habits, incorporating a more meat-free approach to your body will leave you feeling lighter and proactive about your physical contribution. And I have to laugh because I just ate some potato chips. So I feel like this is talking to me like, okay, maybe don't eat those kettle chips anymore. But they tasted so good. So... Like Leonardo da Vinci, revolutionizing outdated processes, innovative ideas, and creative pursuits are of interest now. Use your special talents and share your passion to inspire others 
to awaken their personal gifts and passions with purpose. Okay, your affirmation for this card is, I awaken the dormant light within me. I am radiant. Woohoo! That is awesome. So that is stack number two. And I have to laugh because I apparently picked the squeaky chair today, so I apologize for that. I'm going to put this right on the third eye of this person. Here we go. Okay. If you chose stack number three, your stone is mookite. Mookite. Mookite comes in different colors. It can be um, anywhere from cream to gold to orange to red to burgundy. It's got some really beautiful colors. Um, this is the stone of the here and now. If you watched my video on Monday, the crystal grids, I also had mookite in the crystal grid there, only it was the gold ones. So mookite can help balance internal and external and acceptance of change. It encourages variety and new experiences. It can help us to realize that meditation may be possible during any activity. It is said to stimulate contact with loved ones who have passed over and helps us to better communicate with animals. It can make us more flexible in our thinking and enhance our decision-making, helping to choose the best solution. All right, your first card is from the Spirit Song Tarot, and it's the Two of Feathers. So this is equivalent to the Two of Air in other decks. And, um, you know, you have to laugh because there's a salamander. I don't really think of salamander when I think of feathers, but um, that's what makes this, this deck so great because it's, let's think outside the box. The Two of Feathers shows that we have options. Um, think about when you come to the fork in the road, which way do I go? Do I go left or do I go right? Um, do I go up or down? So this is all about direction. Um, it's about making a decision. Is there something that you need to make a decision about in your life? There might be a change coming. You know, in stack one and two, we were talking about change. So is there something that you need to make a decision about to help your life be better? Um, you know, the thing with, with the little salamander or lizard is when it loses its tail, it the tail grows back. When it loses its tail, it doesn't die necessarily. It just loses an appendage. And so what my guides are trying to, to give me here is when you make this decision, whatever it is, if you go left and you should have gone right and you lose your tail, you're still going to be fine. You're still going to be fine. You will still be here. You might not have part of your tail, but you will still be here. So, so stop worrying so much about making a bad decision. Um, first of all, if you listen to your spirit guides, they're not going to let you make that bad decision. You just say, hey guys, you know, thank you for guiding, guarding, and protecting me and don't let me make the wrong decision. Um, they'll give you messages if you're open to hearing them or seeing them or knowing them. Okay. So maybe um, talk to your spirit guides to make the right decision. But just know that if you make the, I don't even want to say the wrong decision, if you go left instead of right, they'll guide you. You'll get to where you need to go. Okay? So don't worry so much about being perfect. All right. Your second card is from the Druid Craft Tarot. And it's the Five of Swords. And it's kind of an affirmation of what I was just talking about. Um, making a decision. So you got the, the big strong guy in the, the green plaid. And you got the dude in the red plaid back here. So it looks like um, if we're this guy, because who wouldn't want to be this guy as opposed to that one? 
This is the guy with all the swords. He's got his foot on one sword, which is really kind of scary because he doesn't have any shoes on. But he's got his foot on one sword. Another sword's here. He's got two over his shoulder, one in this hand. This guy doesn't have any swords. So if we go with this card and we're going to make a decision, um, I feel like this is saying we're going to be victorious. I'm not saying go out and take somebody else's swords, whatever that means to you. But what I'm saying is if the opportunity comes up, you are going to be victorious in what you do. Okay. I feel like, I feel like I also have to say that, you know, let's be compassionate too. Cause, um, you know, how's this guy going to eat if he doesn't have a sword? He looks really sad. So let's be compassionate when we're the victor. This is a really interesting picture. This is, um, out of the sacred spirit reading deck. It's card number 16 and it says expansion. Educate your mind and senses. Look at the picture. This is the earth and this being broke open the earth and is pushing that out. It's almost like rebirth. It's, it's being born from the earth. It's pretty powerful. And there's all this light coming out. So let's see what the book says about this card. 16. Card number 16 adds up to a 7. Expansion is an inevitable process of the universe. The knowledge of history, sciences, mathematics, and social understanding continue to grow through the foundation of new knowledge awareness and experience human beings and human consciousness also continue to evolve and expand it is part of the evolutionary process clinging to old and past experiences restricts a person's ability to grow expanding yourself spiritually and emotionally allows you to feel a greater sense of love compassion and harmony and you know i was just talking about having some compassion with this guy in this card. Um, Self-realization follows these new levels of awareness as you build upon your previous knowledge and life experiences. Realize that you are always in a permanent state of learning. Career goals, education, and skills-based training are a focus now. This new information is needed for the next step of your life. You may be feeling that you aren't up to the task ahead, but don't fear. Everything you need will be available to you in divine timing. It may feel like you are on the edge of not knowing what to do next. All that means is that this is a new experience and you require more information for the journey ahead. Research your area of focus. A new level of study or education will benefit you now as you prepare and organize your beautiful future. The affirmation that goes with this card is, my mind is open. I learn new information easily, gracefully, and blissfully. That's amazing. So change coming, make a decision. Make a decision, even if your decision is just, okay, I'm gonna change. And you don't have anything else besides that? That's okay. You're going to be victorious. And you're going to have some compassion. And you're going to expand because something new is right around the corner. So yay you. All right. That is today's pick a stack. Let's have a little singing bell. Send you off with some fabulous frequencies and our beautiful celestial smoky quartz. Thank you for joining me today, everybody. I love you. I send you love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, and divine health. And just know that you are worthy of all good things. You deserve all good things. It's safe for you to have good things. 
and you have a blessed rest of your day. Namaste.